Good thing we didn't run high speed into that one. Ooh. Hey, welcome back. We're still in the woods right now. Uh, if you missed the last video, we were um, we were fishing, we were camping, we were adventurous, we weren't sure really what was gonna happen, and then now we're here. <laughs> now we're here at the stages of actually going, uh, going to sleep. I felt this was very film worthy because I've never done this before. So uh, I'm gonna put my light on my hat here and I'm gonna show you what the heck is going on. Okay, now I've, I've never slept in a hammock uh, in, in the outdoors before. So I've got this hammock. I forget who makes this thing. Somebody sent this in to me though. Um, legit camping, pretty good componentry on this guy. And it's it was pretty easy to set up, but now, I have to set up this sleeping bag, um, and this is my zero degree sleeping bag. I'm yet to have a night where I'm not sweating in this sucker, so I need to get this thing spread out. I have a pillow, but I don't think I'm gonna need it actually, because my head's gonna be up here slightly elevated on this tree. Um, and then I've got a nice bed of thorns underneath, just in case some critters wanna come up in my my situation they'll get caught in there and then they'll be discouraged and go away is your head definitely the wrong way which way is your head going, going this way. Uphill. uphill don't want that blood going down yeah, your brain i got enough brain issues my sleeping bag matches my freaking hammock dude yeah that looks so cozy I mean, honestly that I, looks so cozy <laughs> this looks amazing so there we go zero degree sleeping bag uh it's got a little bit of a, a head cushion here uh, that sleeping bag's made by Teton. It's the zero degree. Just chopped up the last bit of firewood, throwing it on there. Hopefully, we're gonna have some embers for in the morning for some huevos. Huevos and tortillas. Huevos, huevos and tortillas. To put in the the skillet right there. She's a blazing. Got some good oak in there. Hopefully, she lasts all night, but. It's windy, it's really cold. Um, and I think that's gonna make the fire burn burn a lot faster, all that wind, so. Oh, yeah, just got that in my face, you know how that is. Flair's already in his sack over there. It feels like we're in Avatar. It's like just all four of us just getting in these sacks up in the trees, going in our little pods for the night. So follow me to my humble abode. Okay, currently trying to figure out the procedure of the steps here, getting shoes off. I think I'm gonna probably take my pants off, honestly, just because this sleeping bag, I'm yet to not sweat in there. And I, and I have some thermals in case it gets cold, I might break, I might just keep the thermals with me in case I get cold during the middle of the night. Yeah, that's a power move right there. Okay, now. Shoes are untied. Oh, it is isn't it sketchy? It's so sketchy. <laughs> so, so you're in? No, not yet. No? Are you? You still have a foot on the ground? No. Oh, I'm okay. In, yeah. All right, all right, all right. So I'm not in. So I think I'm gonna sit my butt right here, right in the middle. I've laid the bag out. We gotta unzip it first, actually. Wow, this feels sketchy. Dude, this is, so comfy. is it? Is it? Yeah. It looks awesome. This is one of the hardest things I've ever done right here. Let's try to film and getting get into a, a sack. Uh, all right, butt in. Okay, we're off the ground. We are off the ground now. Slide the boots off one at a time, gently, so they don't roll down the hill. There we go, okay. All right, now it's all about balance. I don't know, maybe I should leave my pants on because I don't think I am, uh, I don't think I am good enough to get them off right now. Okay, put that there. The head portion up here. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take our socks off because they're wet. My feet were literally sweating, so I had to let them dry. My problem is, like the back, the back of my uh, sleeping bag, it's not over my head. It's like at my torso. <laughs> I can't, I can't shimmy to get it up there. 
because I'm afraid I'm gonna fall out. It's very difficult. I can't film it at the same time. I wish I could because you guys would probably be laughing your butts off, but uh, once I get situated, I will turn on the camera again and let you know. <laughs> okay, we're finally in. Can't get my head all the way up there. I mean, I got a lot of space, but every time I shimmy, it's like I'm coming out of my, my cocoon, man. So I'm having problems. <laughs> That's what it looks like. We can just cover up like this. That's pretty dang comfy, man. Well, I guess I'm gonna leave you guys right here for now. I'm gonna go to sleep. This is kind of comfy, actually. I'm gonna shimmy my way up a little bit more, get some shut eye, and I'll see you beautiful fish and freaks in the AM. All righty, y'all. Well, it is, uh, it's about 5.30 right now. And sun comes up in about 30 minutes. And uh, I haven't been asleep since about three. It was windy all night and uh, I'm totally inside of my sleeping bag right now, as you can tell. Are you freezing, Mike? Okay, Mike's up too. <laughs> I was just telling everybody how cold I am. <laughs> so I somehow ended up getting into my thermals. This is so hard to film. Okay, so I got into my thermals, guys. I thought I was the only one up, but everybody's talking about how cold it is right now, so. I, dude, I've had to pee so bad since three o'clock and I've been scared to get out of my bag. I think there's raccoons that have been in the water, so uh, I, I, I gotta get out of this bag, get this fire going. Yeah, wait, let's, let's, uh, I'm, I'm all game for getting some firewood and getting this fire hot. Okay, well. I think everybody's kind of decided it was a little frosty last night. Got the fire going again. Try to get the uh, red blood cells back into our system. And uh, hopefully cook some eggs on this bad boy. You guys ready to rip some fish out of these waters or what? Oh, I'm ready to go home, Rackley. I'm out. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. Tap out. What is going on here? This is Texas, man. The crazy thing is, yesterday, I think we, it was 71. When we when we got out of here, yeah, I was wearing a t-shirt, and uh, you know, I was like, yeah, it's gonna be perfect, like in the 40s, and now it's literally freezing. So, and it's misting right now, which doesn't help. But luckily, our fire survived. It builds character, Rackley. It does. It makes you appreciate the small things in life. The good times, yeah. survival. This is what it's all about. Waking up in the morning, getting the fire going again. It's like, gosh, we made it. You know, we made it through. There's some sad faces. Yeah, we're not, we're not super amped right now. We have deduced our camping gear, all packed, sacked, and ready to rack. Boat ride's gonna suck. Last minute, warm up of the hands. And we're gonna go get some grub, okay? We were gonna make some eggs in this uh, little skillet situation, but... There's some leaves in there. I'm pretty sure some raccoons came in. Uh, maybe got their little paws, maybe rubbed their little raccoon behind ends on that thing. That's just an excuse. We're actually want some hot coffee, some sausage, and uh, just a full-blown breakfast after a night of almost hypothermia. Right, boys? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Motor started. Get that mercury popping, baby. We need some breakfast. If we can get off the sandbar. Come on, old Merc. That's a weird noise. There. there we go, there we go. In the clear. Uh, we had some worms, but... Uh, uh, they're froze. They're frozen, probably. Our night fishing didn't really work out the way we wanted it to. Are they alive? No, they look pretty lifeless to be honest. See you, squirmies. Texas winter, February. You never know. Could be 70, could be 30. It's basically March. You're right. John back here, he's bundled up. It's about to get dicey. 
dicey. Hopefully we went over all the sandbars and we're in the clear now. Mullet Man's been running these rivers since he was a young boy. So, I trust his judgment. Take off. Give her a go and hope she doesn't blow. Are we here? Yes. 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 Oh, we made it. Oh, I guess we were under the weight limit. Everything stayed in the boat. Our hands are frozen, but our souls are fine. Just need a little breakfast time. That's my rhyme. Exactly. I'm ready for the keys to chime because I'm going to start that heater and everything's going to be fine. Oh, shoot. Whoa, man. Almost ran into that pole there. Would you ever imagine that we are the only truck and boat in the parking lot right now? Wow, that'll wake you up, y'all. Little piglies, little piggly wiggly warm up now. We're good to go. Literally, we have uh, the AC on high yesterday. 61 degrees is what the AC is set for in here. I don't think so. Hang on now. Is that good? Pull it out. Okay. Oh man, y'all. That feels good to get out of that river. It was fun for a minute. It was a lot of fun, but last night was rough. Just glad we made it back safe. Everybody's good, alive. Griffs. I hope it's as good as Kenny Griff hitting homers back in the dizzle, back in the day. I can't say dizzle. I'm, I'm beyond the age limit to say dizzle. Man, anywhere that's got crappie on on the wall, I'm down. What if I just caught that sucker? It's like... New TV, bro. So I'm seeing a theme here. We see, I see Miller Life with crappies. I see Keystone Life with crappies. I see Tours Light, Silver Bullets and crappies. I think the message they're trying to send here is Crappies and good times. And then they, they sell them back here. That's genius. This is the mood right now. Those are eyeballs, by the way. <laughs> that, that is a smile. As we crazy. finally have food and warmth, we're in a little tavern, it feels like. We have a fish right next to our food, so it's all good. Look at that squirt. That's a power move there. Wow. Some distance on that. <laughs> Saying goodbye to old Griffs. Time to go. Griffs, you did us right. Well, made it to the mullet cave back over here. And guess what? It's freezing. Like, literally, things are freezing. Anything that had water on it from this morning. By the way, little camp crate still coming in clutch here. Little camp crate coming in clutch to hold all the camp gear. What did, did you build this? I did, dude. You crafty son of a gun. I crafted it. You need to come up to the farm and build me some stuff. I need a lot of stuff. I need okay. workbenches built. Well, you guys could have like a crafting section. section. I'm going to build a workbench soon. Good. We I'll can model your... it. Yes. And then have you that. one. Yeah. Take it. Let me know in the comments if you think that's good. I want to come up. One day Flair is going to invite me to his farm. And we're going to do some Flair farm things. So I think that'll be good. But, you know, me and Flair don't really do a whole video, uh, a whole lot of videos that often. Uh, when we do, they're memorable. And this one is no different. It's time for you to go to the Mullet Cave, warm up, all of us to, to warm up. Yeah, I'm glad we survived. Remember to eat good. There it is, all right. Well, y'all, it was just so freakishly cold. I got into the warmest stuff. I re-put on thermals. A night like that, it's weird. A lot of people say this when they come to Texas. It's like a moist cold here, and it gets into your bones. It is bad, it stays with you. So I think it has something to do with humidity, but I'm not sure. Any of you uh, meteorologists out there, let us know in the comments. So after working in the woods all day, I come back to the tree house and I'm still having to work on wood, y'all. And I've got tons of brush to clear. This is like the time you have to do it. You have to do it. If you're in the arborstry industry, please let me know in the comments as well. Uh, what you think the best time to prune trees is in Texas. It's crazy, y'all. There's a whole science to it. But anyways, everywhere you look. Oh, 
Oh, I've expanded the wood collection. Big time, y'all. These beams right here are cedar beams, and I'm going to be replacing the legs on my hardwood floor, um, old barnwood table. It kind of smells like creosote, especially when it gets warm and it's about to warm up. And I got a bunch of other cedar planks that I'm replacing the guest room for uh, the YouTube guests and all of our other guests that come in, and it's all woodsy and, you know, it looks like a lodge. It's like a lot. We'll call it the lodge. Also, I need to take a chainsaw to that stump right there, saw it in half for a mount. I know, of wood projects everywhere, guys. Uh, I've become obsessed with wood. That's recent, but now it's even the trees. Uh, I look at the trees and I think about, man, if this tree were cut right here, this would leave this room to grow. And man, I noticed the live oaks are growing right here. Like, where's the boundary of live oaks in Texas? Hell, where they grow next to the post oaks and the other oak trees. So I'm just expressing that to you guys. I, I, I think I'm a woodsman. I'm just a Texas woodsman that loves to give it a dangle. Uh, I think that's, you could put that on my business card. Uh, get a little corn for our buddies here. Oh, Gimpy, he'll be happy. Let's see what kind of creatures we had here while it was freezing where we were. Oh my gosh. That is the first time I've seen deer during broad daylight here. Just broad daylight. Same group of does, but they must have been for a reason. Well, hey girls, how you doing? Give them a little corn. I love having deer here. That is honestly exciting. OSG has been cooking a deer stew and it's time to go give it a shot. See how she did. I told her I was freezing. I was like, honey, I'm cold. And she was like, I'm gonna make you some deer stew. My hands are cold, feel them. Oh! I know. They're like ice. I've come to try your stew. Mm. Hopefully it'll warm me up. Well, you got, you brought home the... <gasps> yes, yes I did. I can't think right now. <laughs> you brought home You're the so deer. cold, you can't even think. You brought home the deer and I made the stew. It's kind of like your basic stew, but I put some backstrap in it. Mm. Mm hmm. <clears throat> backstrap's a little chewy. Well, that's like your old backstrap. It was an old backstrap, but yeah, this one was tough from the get go. Good though. It's good flavor, honey. Mm hmm. Well, that is where I'm gonna leave you today, Fish and Freaks, right here in the OSG kitchen. Always check the weather when you're going out in the outdoors. It usually helps. I have some good stories with the buddies, though. Uh, if you wanna go check out Andrew Flair and Mullet Man, they are down in the description as well. And if you wanna check out uh, some of the stuff we got going on here at the Lake Life Family Channel this weekend, I will have a link down below as well. As always, guys, you know I love you. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you on the next one.